Hey drummers, so I'm sure you're used to using drumsticks at this point and what techniques are needed for that. But how many of you have ever used dowel sticks like these? The technique needed to use these is actually a little bit different. So I'm gonna give you a little crash course on using dowel sticks today. So before I show you these techniques, I do want to address two things that, at least for me, are the big reasons why you want to have dowel sticks in your stick bag. The first reason is for the live situation. So you're out playing a show, maybe you're in a situation where the sound can't be too loud and the sound guy might ask, be asking you to, to bring, bring it down a little bit. Obviously, there are acoustic drums that you're playing on, you can't just dial them down. Um, but if you have a pair of dowel sticks in your stick bag, you can switch over to those. They're a lot quieter than normal sticks. The second reason is because they are quieter and you know the technique is a little bit different, you might find that you can approach music a little bit different when you're, you're using them. So especially songs that you might be, you know, perhaps you're writing um, that are a little bit quieter, you might find that if you tr try to use the dowel sticks, you might come up with uh, something a little bit different than you normally would. So let's start off talking about grip. I'm gonna demonstrate here with the Promarks. These are the hot rods. And as you can see how they're set up, you know, because they're dowels and they're grouped together, there's gonna to be a flat section. So what you'll wanna do is you wanna just place your thumb on one of the flat sections there. And then the other part of the stick is gonna rest on your finger, right? So where normally you would have the stick resting with your thumb on the top, you're gonna to do the same thing with the dowel stick, with the flat part under your thumb. So how are you going to approach hitting the snare with this? Now, usually with the drumstick, I would be hitting center or just north of center is where I, where I really like to hit it. With the hunt rod, if you take the same approach, if you're striking right at the center and you use the same elevation, you'll find that you're not gonna get really that much volume out of it. So what do you need to do instead? First of all, again, make sure you're keeping your thumb on the flat part and that you're keeping this flat part parallel to the snare, right? You're, you're gonna maximize the amount of surface area to the drum that'll give you the most volume. The second thing is that you don't want to put the tip of the hot rod or the dowel stick that you're using at the center. You wanna move it up a lot. I recommend this part, you know, maybe halfway down on the, uh, the hot rod above the tape to put, aim for this to be at the center of your snare. So somewhere around like this. The other thing is the angle. You know, normally when I'm playing on the snare, I have a good amount, you know, probably a good like, like inch or so that the stick is raised up over the rim. But on the dowel, I'm a lot closer to doing a rim shot whenever I do any hit. And again, this is basically, it's so that more of the dowel stick is coming into contact with the snare. Basically, I'm having more surface area. Okay, so let's say I want to play on the hi-hat. Now, normally you might play a stick top, right? Or you might play a stick on the side. I think you'll find that if you try using the top approach with a dowel stick, you're gonna get almost no volume. So I definitely recommend going um, pretty deep on an angle. Again, you want to make sure that the flat part of the dowel stick is parallel to the hi-hat so that you get more surface area. So let me demonstrate a drum beat playing on the dowel sticks on the hi-hat and the snare. This is gonna be taken from the verse of the song, Save Me From This Life from The Grey Curtain. All right, so now let's move on to playing on the ride. Um, it's all gonna be a little bit more similar to playing on the snare than it is playing on the hi-hat. So you really need to dig into it. You wanna try to get as much of the flat part here as you can. So you're gonna go, instead of playing, perhaps playing up, right? So if this is the ride, instead of playing up like this, you wanna get a lot closer to being flat against the ride. 
And I think you'll find that you really need to dig into it a lot as well. In fact, any of the symbols that you play on when you're hitting the crashes, you really have to dig into them to get a good amount of volume out. As far as playing on the toms are concerned, uh, they're pretty similar to playing on the snare. You know, you want to get really, get your angle really close to the rim. You want to just maximize the amount of surface area you have. So I'm gonna demonstrate one last thing for you. I'm gonna be playing on the ride this time with the crashes and a little bit of tom. Uh, this is gonna be taken from that same song I played earlier, Save Me From This Life. But this time I'm gonna be playing the chorus. So do you have any special items in your stick bag that you just can't live without? If so, let me know in the comments below. I'm doing educational videos like this all the time, so if you wanna see more, then don't forget to subscribe.